ever since Aaron and I have been together, camping has always been one of those things that we just love to do. Anytime we want to go out and do something fun, it seemed like we were always going camping. We don't camp too much anymore, and I think that's because the way we live now is pretty much one big camping trip. In this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of campfire meals, and they're all gonna be based around using cast iron. We're gonna get it started with biscuits and gravy. There are multiple ways you can do biscuits if you're camping. You can buy them from the store in the little containers and use those. You can make homemade biscuits. You can cook them in a skillet and just flip them, or you can bake them in a Dutch oven. We're gonna be baking them in our Dutch oven, and we're gonna make homemade biscuits. We've got about two cups of flour. We like to do a little bit of sugar in ours. We're gonna do some baking powder to get them to rise. And then we're gonna be using moose tallow. You can also use cold butter. Make sure it's hard. You can use uh, just regular lard. Before we add our wet ingredients, we're gonna get this mixed up by hand until it's nice and crumbly. We're gonna do one egg. And we're gonna do some milk. I'm gonna start with about a cup. So we're just kind of kneading this dough. You don't really need to knead it very long because we're just using baking powder. We're gonna cook in our Dutch oven. A lot of Dutch ovens are not like ours. Ours kind of has a dome for a lid. A lot of them kind of have a concave where you can set coals on top of that and that's what gives you kind of like an oven. So we're gonna use ours today, but the way I like to use ours when we're gonna be baking something is I flip the lid inside out. That way this will hold the coals. As soon as I get this mixed up a little more, I'm gonna put our biscuits in there and then we're gonna head over to the fire. We like to do something called drop biscuits because when you're out camping, it's a little harder to roll out biscuits and cut them out into little rounds. So all I'm gonna do is you just take little chunks, get them kind of round and you drop them in there. Oh, here's a bunch on the spoon. Like that. That's really good. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, we've got coals on the bottom. We don't want it too hot on the bottom. We don't want to burn these biscuits. We want to try to put a lot of the heat on top to try to make it into an oven. So we're gonna stick our biscuits on here. And like I said, we're gonna flip the lid inside out. It fits in there nicely on this model. I'm gonna stick these on top. Now we got our oven. Got our Dutch oven off to the side. I'm just cooking it from the top now. We got a bunch of coals on there. They're actually flaming, so it's nice and hot. We're gonna start our gravy. We're doing moose meat gravy. The biscuits are actually getting pretty close. They've only been going for about 15 minutes. I've got some uh, lion's mane mushroom. I'm gonna dice that up real quick and I'm gonna add that into our meat for our gravy. All right, let's make this into gravy. We're gonna do milk. I think I got enough here. We're gonna do a little bit of flour. And I'm gonna take this off the heat too, because it's getting a little hot. Things are looking good. Aaron went to grab us a little bit more milk. We want some more gravy in this. I added sage, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna kinda go on and off the heat with this. I don't wanna get it too hot since we got the milk in there and the biscuits are just about done. I think it's about 11 o'clock in the morning right now and all we've had today was a cup of coffee. So I think we're both getting pretty hungry and this is starting to look really good. Oh. All right, looks like the biscuits are browned on top. I'm gonna go ahead and take these coals off of here. I'm gonna check the bottoms and see if we need to cook the bottom a little bit longer. 
Perfect, these things are done. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, it's gonna be good. This Jeez. is a nice. My third biscuit doesn't fit in there. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. We're both starving. Can't wait to eat this. I know. This is one of those camping breakfasts if you wake up late and then you just like want to sit around all day and do nothing. That's what they say about biscuits, or biscuits and gravy is sticks to the bones. Mmm. Doesn't it? I get so confused because it tastes like you added butter to this meal, but we don't have any butter in it. I think it's all that delicious meat. Isn't that wonderful? I'm at a loss of words. The, uh, the biscuit's really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Like, look at how yellow that is. Just really good looking biscuit. The biscuits are really good, but so is the gravy. Oh yeah, I mean. This meal is awesome. Mm. Pretty quick too. It actually didn't take that long for no. to make it. And I mean, you could totally do it all different ways meat no meat different meat and i mean we like to make a lot of our stuff i guess the term is from scratch but you could totally bring like little packages for sure and the containers of biscuits this yep. is a really awesome meal yeah we're gonna sit back by the campfire we're gonna enjoy our breakfast and we'll catch up with you guys around dinner time mm, the mushroom i think that's why the baby tastes of it is the mushroom I could have mushrooms in every meal. Normally, normally gravy is exceptionally good, but this is that mushroom adds like a, it adds like a depth, a different depth of flavor, doesn't it? It definitely adds flavor. Mushrooms have so much flavor. I mean. But I mean, that adds like a real. Mushroom gravy, yeah. Real flavor. Isn't that good? Uh-huh. This would be good with a fried egg on top mm -hmm. oh, and some Tabasco. We're getting ready for dinner. We got the camp chef stove all assembled and we are cooking some Philly cheese steak sandwiches tonight. Of course, we're using moose meat. We've got some nice backstrap steaks. We've got onion. We've got some peppers that are frozen from last season. We've got some cheese. Errol made us these awesome rolls. We're gonna get this thing fired up and start cooking. We've had our little outdoor stove, it's called the Camp Chef, for almost two years now. Bought this thing used, it came with a couple little accessories, and we actually really like this thing. We use it for canning, cooking, for camping, all kinds of cool things. We're gonna start with the steaks first. We got two nice little steaks, and we're just gonna do salt and pepper on them. Steak's just about done. We're gonna start on our veggies and we're also gonna put some garlic in this too. We're gonna do a ton of onion. Veggies are looking good, the steak is done. I'm gonna get the steak all sliced up nice and thin and then we're gonna combine it all back together. Tender. Can you try a little bit? Thank you. 
All right, cheese is going on. We're gonna do four slices on this. Well, not much can be said about those sandwiches. We're gonna set up our little stools and we're gonna see how these things taste. Yeah. Do you want it for? Uh, no. I'm just gonna. Uh, Use your hands. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't. <laughs> you don't even need meat. Are you fed? Yeah. That's impeccable. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. You want to do it together? <gasps> My chair almost fell back. <laughs> That's because I felt it. <laughs> I don't even, this can't be done. I can't even do this. <sighs> oh my god. Now that's a sandwich. I feel like I've been transcended. And this is like one of the best sandwiches I've ever mm. eaten. <laughs> that bread you made is awesome. Sweet. Oh. I love a piece of cheese. Mm. This is a monster. You know how when we eat and I'm like, this is my favorite meal ever. Then I'm like, then again, this is my favorite meal ever. That's good though. This is like my favorite meal ever. It's probably my favorite thing about camping is cooking. And I have... <laughs> We've always just liked to cook really good food. You can totally cook awesome meals when you're camping. I feel like that just like elevates the trip. And this sandwich, this is so good. This is, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. When we used to camp, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably how most people's camping trips go, but it was just pretty much about cooking and exploring. Fishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we're in April, we're gonna be using the Camp Chef a lot more this summer. Eric will hopefully be cooking up fish, and we will pick back up in the morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh. Mm. Uh. We got the rocket stove going and we're cooking some hash. Hash is a really good camping meal. We used to do it a lot differently back in the day. We'd bring a can of corned beef hash and eggs. Doing a little different today. We're gonna make kind of homemade corned beef hash. We're using canned moose meat, canned potatoes, and we're gonna have some eggs in there. Should be really good. We're gonna use our 10 inch skillet. This is a Birmingham. We're gonna need a lid for cooking our eggs. And this is just kind of a one pan meal. We're gonna use the rocket stove, get some nice hot heat going. Along with the moose and potatoes, we're gonna do part of an onion. And we got some frozen bell peppers we're gonna throw in there. There we go. Got our pan heated up. We're gonna start making this hash. We actually haven't tried our canned moose meat yet. We canned this a couple months ago. So we'll be able to try this out. And the potatoes we canned, we have tried these. These are good. These are really quick way to fry up some potatoes. They pretty much just taste like regular potatoes once you fry them up. So we're gonna get these two in the pan going. 
Got some moose towel going in here to fry it up. And let's get some of these in there. Probably gonna do half a can of the potatoes, half a can of the moose meat. Oh man. This smells good. Well, what we've learned with the rocket stove is this thing cooks hot and fast, so you gotta really watch your pan um, and take it on and off the heat. It's a pretty cool little stove. I like using it here. It's kind of hard to bring places for us, like in the Polaris or on our snow machines, because it's kind of big and heavy, but it's a pretty cool little stove. And one of the coolest things about it is it barely uses any wood, so. About to add our onions and our uh, bell pepper in real quick. All right, this is getting almost ready to add our eggs. We're doing salt and pepper, and this is just a little blended herb mix that Arrow made for us. Put that in there. A couple more minutes here. We're gonna add our eggs in here, and then we're gonna throw the top on, and that's gonna cook them. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do four eggs. We like a lot of eggs in our hash. That's it, hash is done. I'm gonna have my assistant come in and do a taste test for us. It's time to eat. That meat is killer. That meat is really, really good. Hold on, let me try a bite with an egg real quick to give a, my full review. So good. This is definitely a really, really great meal. Oh, yeah. We've got one more meal and we're gonna catch up with you guys later tonight. We're back out at the campfire and we're gonna end things with dessert. Love making dessert when we're out camping. We're gonna be using the Dutch oven and we're gonna make a vanilla cake with banana, nuts, and maple syrup on top. Got all our ingredients out here ready. We're gonna get our cake batter mixed up first. In here we have sugar, salt, flour, and baking powder already pre-mixed. And in this little cast iron skillet, we have a stick of butter and we've got about a half a cup of coconut oil. And this is really firm because it's cold out here. I'm gonna throw this on the fire, melt it real quick. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm still over. <laughs> We've got vanilla, and we're gonna do four eggs. Gonna add our butter and coconut oil and our milk. We love bananas. We're gonna add some sliced bananas on top of this little vanilla cake. And then we're gonna cook this the same way we cook the biscuits, except we wanna do it even lower of a temperature. Um, we're probably gonna do a little bit of heat on the bottom and then just a little bit of coals on top. Get this thing cooking nice and slow for us.
cake is on the fire. This is gonna be a little trickier than the biscuits when you're cooking a cake in a Dutch oven. You gotta really pay attention to it. We don't wanna get this too hot. So I have it in the fire now, but I'm gonna leave it there for a couple minutes and I'm gonna remove it from the heat and we're just gonna cook it from the top for a little longer. And then I'll probably end up putting it back on the heat a little bit later. Probably take a good 30 minutes to cook this thing. About 15 minutes in, starting to look good. It's getting a little bit of browning on top, so I'm gonna tone down the heat on the lid. I'm gonna take a few of these coals off and I think I'm gonna throw a couple underneath. I moved it up here on the snow on a couple logs because the fire was a little bit too hot on the bottom. So let's go maybe, probably another 10 minutes, this thing should be done. Well, I think it ended up taking about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. It took a little longer than I expected, but we are ready to eat. I'm gonna get rid of these coals. We're gonna add a few more ingredients and then we're gonna plate it up. Oh, nice, nice and moist. All right, this looks good. We're gonna top these with maple syrup, coconut shreds, and we love walnuts, so we're gonna put some walnuts on these. on this taste though. It looks good. Mm. It's super moist. It tastes like a like a breakfast pancake turned into cake. Yeah, because of syrup? Um, the and syrup the and the lightweight fluffiness of the cake. Mm. Well, I definitely think cooking it slow paid off because it's not burnt at all and it's totally moist and delicious like an oversized pancake in my opinion. Uh. Yeah, this is this is good. This is a really good cake. I love the banana in there. We're going to finish off this piece of vanilla banana cake. Let us know in the description what is your favorite campfire meal. And we'll see you guys next time. So I think I just figured out what this tasted like. And it's a custard. It's got like a <laughs> custard texture. I don't know if it's because there's so many eggs in here, but... It's incredibly moist. It is so good. It's like a yeah. custard. Like a custard. I don't know. It's really good. I make custard all the time. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if I've ever had a custard. You've had custards.